Hey there, welcome to Life Noggin. Have you ever wondered if it was possible to freeze a person right after they die and bring them back to life sometime in the future? Grab your winter coats. This could get a little chilly. No, no, that's actually a little chilly. Animator, I was talking about the cold. Thank you. The practice of preserving bodies in extremely cold temperatures with the hope of reviving them in the future is called cryonics. This is not to be confused with cryogenics, which is basically just the study of things at very low temperatures, and probably wouldn't make for that interesting of a video. But who knows. The idea with cryonics is that it would keep a person in cryonic suspension until the science of the future brought a way to bring them back to life. Theoretically, if their cells were not irreparably damaged, then that person might be able to be resuscitated sometime in the future. Or you can be like me and live forever on the internet. <laughs> Boy, have I seen some stuff. So what's the process cryonicists follow to try to preserve a person? Well, after a patient is pronounced legally dead, they stabilize the body and supply the brain with oxygen and blood. The body is then packed in ice and injected with an anticoagulant to help keep blood from clotting during the travel to the cryonics facility. They then try to replace some of the body's water with a cryoprotectant, which basically acts like a human antifreeze. This helps protect the organs and tissues from ice crystals after the body is put into a state of suspended animation due to a process called vitrification. Once the water is replaced, the body is further cooled and placed in a container in a large metal tank filled with liquid nitrogen around negative 196 degrees Celsius, completing the process. Now some scientists believe that this process isn't sufficient enough to actually put a body in cryonic suspension, but assuming a person is successfully preserved, does that mean scientists can bring them back to life? Well, in today's world, no. But is it possible in the future? Some scientists have their doubts, but others seem to think so based off of similar scientific studies. One study showed that certain roundworms retained behaviors that they had learned before they were cryopreserved after they were vitrified and revived. Another study showed that sheep ovaries could be cryopreserved, thawed, and then still work after being transplanted into a cute little ball of wool even when analyzed six years after the procedure. Now both of these studies are obviously not the same as human cryonics, but they provide some hope into what is possible. Not only that, but practically every type of cell has been successfully cryopreserved, which is a small but significant step to human cryonics. It doesn't seem to be scientifically sound to completely conclude one way or the other if cryonics of today, combined with the science of the future, will lead to bringing a person back to life. It seems more science fiction than reality, but so did invisibility cloaks at one time and we already showed we're on the path to making those possible. So what do you think? Will a scientist of the future be able to bring back people in cryonic suspension? Do you think people should even freeze themselves? Let me know in the comment section below. And if you're interested in the comment that I made on invisibility cloaks, then you should probably check out this video. Believe it or not, scientists are getting kinda close to making these dreams come true. And you don't even have to live in a major copyrighted movie franchise to experience it. The key is distorting the way light bounces off an object. As always, I'm Blacko, this has been Life Noggin. Don't forget to keep on thinking.